Well, we're taking you back to the 70s now, cast your mind back to the 80s when Phantom of the Opera first hit the West End. Margaret Thatcher was Prime Minister, Prince Andrew had just married Fergie and the Communards were number one. Tonight, 30 years on, some of the original cast will watch the current stars for a gala performance at the theatre where it all started. Here's Rhea Chatterjee. These chords have chimed millions of times and are still pulling in the crowds. Royalty, in fact, on opening night in 1986, Princess Diana watched the first show of many. There have been over 12,000 performances of the show at this theatre and over 140 million performances in 35 different countries across the world. The box office revenue is higher than any stage play or film in history. Everyone wanted a ticket to see Andrew Lloyd Webber's newest hit. Michael Ball took on a principal role in 1987. It is the most lucrative work of art, if you like, that there has ever been. And I'm not on a cut. Gutted. <laughs> we still rule the world for this kind of, of entertainment. It's timeless. It will speak to generation after generation. Um, the Phantom is forever. In all your fantasies. The show has won four Olivier Awards and seven Tony Awards, both recognizing excellence in theater. This is my uh, dressing room. Ben is the current There's Phantom. Amazingly, you said um, uh, Laurence Olivier's apartment. Wow. He used to live here. This was his living room. It's very exciting. Yeah. It's a bit like an art gallery as well. It is a bit of an art gallery. Fans sent him letters and drawings of appreciation. Uh, this one uh, was from, I think, Brazil. This was Brazil. This is the Netherlands. Some people have seen the show hundreds of times. Um, and I think it's because you can relate to every part of the story. Whatever mood you're in, whatever you're feeling, there's a part of the story which can break your heart. Tonight, Ben will perform in front of some of the original cast. Thirty years on, the show is still sold out. Rhea Chatterjee, ITV News.